Ginny Chu is a member of Congress from the state of California, not super famous, we didn't know much about her, but then we saw a Daily Caller piece that had multiple photographs showing Judy Chu, member of Congress, accepting honorary appointments at two groups linked directly to Chinese intelligence. That's a huge problem. So this weekend, Congressman Lance Gooden of Texas suggested that maybe Judy Chu shouldn't have a security clearance. Maybe she should explain what she was doing with Chinese intelligence. That's not crazy. But of course, it caused a complete meltdown in the media. You're a racist! All right. Ying Ma is the author of the book Chinese Girl in the Ghetto, which is excellent, by the way. She joins us tonight to assess all of this. Ying Ma, thank you so much for coming on. So I don't really know what this has thank to do with know. race, but I can't help notice that when the pandemic first started, the Chinese government accused anybody who thought maybe it came from the Wuhan lab of racism. So I'm seeing kind of a playbook here. Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, now, I should say that no one should have her loyalty to America questioned based on race, but nobody should be able to cry racism in order to circumvent legitimate scrutiny right, of very right. troubling ties to communist um, China, especially to um, the Chinese Communist Party's front organizations here in the U.S. Now, Judy Chu has a habit of crying racism, not only regarding her own affiliations with these very disturbing groups, but also to thwart legitimate um, inquiry from Congress, as well as efforts to counter the Chinese threat. She's tried to, she in fact successfully stopped a Democratic colleague from uh, joining a Republican effort to condemn China's role in spreading COVID at the, er, in the early days of the pandemic. And she also opposed the recent creation of that very bipartisan select committee on China for the purpose of countering the Chinese threat um, from the Communist Party in China. So this kind of politics is poisonous. Um, my organization, the American Ideals Pack, we were formed precisely to counter this type of politics. If you guys agree with that, find us, support us at AmericanIdealsPack.com, AmericanIdealsPAC.com. The point of it all is that when people do this kind of race baiting, they're not even telling the truth. Judy Chu claims that whenever you criticize China this way, you're fanning anti-Asian violence and anti-Asian sentiments. But she is the last person who will tell you that many of these very gruesome physical attacks we've seen against Asians in this country are perpetrated by non-whites, not by, you know, not by right, white right supremacists. Forward. These are people who are so, reluctant to say that. All they want to say is that Trump is at fault and Republicans at, are at fault. She's a shill for China, obviously, and she's hiding it. Yingma, great to see you tonight. Thank you.